I have a bit of a different video today, and I'm using a different camera, so sorry if the audio or video quality is worse than usual. Um, I found this articulating arm on Thingiverse, and it's a rather popular design, but I couldn't find a phone mount that was just meant for this arm and was really general and had the adjustability I wanted, so I designed one. And you can see that it holds my S8 Plus really well. Um, and part of that is the rubber bands are actually engaging the case and those add additional grip. So I will show you how this goes in. Well, don't worry, my next version I have a longer arm on there and that's what my Prusa is printing right now. So, this is a fine segue into how to assemble it. So first, I'll show you the mechanism room. So this is fully adjustable. So here we can tilt up, down, and if I loosen this screw, I can actually also then rotate it. Okay, let me find that other piece, there it is. Yeah, this will give a better visual. Um, so that way, you know, if I want to hold it this way, or I want to have my phone just vertical for some reason, I can. And so this thing is fully adjustable. And this right here, this, this mechanism, um, this is an adjustable tensioner for that mechanism. So if I want it to be locked, I can just screw that down, and now that sucker is locked. Right? And this guy will go, it's 180 degrees of motion. And we can, you know, put it wherever we want, give it some tension, and it'll stay there. And if we find a bit of a happy medium, um, well, it's actually pretty good there. I, I need to iterate on this bit a little bit more, because I would like this tension to be, I would like it to be a tensioner, not just a lock. Um, so, you know, I'll work on that. Uh, all right, now all the pieces that will print with this, and this will be on Thingiverse, link down below. Okay, here are all the pieces. And the rubber band I'm using is a produce rubber band. Um, I believe this was off of some celery stalks. And uh, I have made a design change so these two pieces will be the same, so don't be confused there. So what these are all of these pieces can print laying flat, uh, and these guys are good to print standing up. Um, however, that means some things do require some support. And to make this work, I have designed this interlocking mechanism right here. So the arm, right, this goes through the arm. And you'll notice that I also have the notches uh, on this face as well. So this holder will function correctly uh, mounted either direction on the arm. And to put it together, um, we're going to start with these two pieces. Okay, now you can just push them together like this, but I find it easier to kind of insert one at an angle and give it a bit of a twist. Okay. Now, we will put the tensioner on, and the flat side goes towards the back. Okay, screw that on there. Alright, now I will slide this piece in, and I'll take my rubber band, and I'll just kind of begin stretching it on. And this is the tricky part, right? We need to kind of pull this back, take this rubber band guide, and set it there. So by doing this in multiple pieces, um, it, it, lets a, it lets me print the main pieces flat, uh, while at the same time offering a bit of a wider base for stability for the phone um, against the rubber band. <laughs> And, but mostly uh, it keeps that rubber band tensioned. And so you could probably get away with just one of these tensioners, but we'll put the other one on. And you'll notice these are angled, right? And so you will want to assemble it 
so that the wider part is towards the middle, like so. And now we have it working. I did put a couple drops of silicone lubricant on there to, to just make this action a bit smoother. Um, but otherwise not too much cleanup was needed from my print and I've made some some changes to improve printability as well. Alright, let's put it on. So we can go from either side, either the rib side or the flat side. I'll go the rib side this time. Okay, and then we take this piece here and put it on. And then we this is just a normal nut from the the original thing. And there we are, we're all set. And now I can adjust it however I want. You know, I loosen the tensioner and it's fully adjustable. I hope you find that interesting. Um, please leave a like or comment and don't forget to also like the uh, the file on Thingiverse. I hope you find this helpful and useful. Catch you next time.